Welcome back to our class. Uh, today we're going to finish up our birch trees project. Uh, you should have a few items for this. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a blank piece of paper that's the same size as uh, the piece of paper that you did your wa uh, watercolor picture or marker that you washed and made really thin so it has a watery look. Uh, you should also, you're going to need glue for sure. You need a pencil for sure. And this is where it gets a little optional. You need either uh, a white colored pencil, a white crayon. These are the ones that people have typically, but items that work better is regular white paint that would actually be better, or a white oil pastel would also be better. And the reason why they're better is because they'll mark on the paper a little bit nicer than these two will with the colors that we have as a background. Um, but these can do the job well enough uh, but it will look a little bit nicer with white paint or white oil pastel if you happen to have those. Uh, you'll just have to make the substitution. And I'll get to that part a little bit later. All right. So the first part is uh, we are going to do a winter birch tree scene. Uh, birch trees, most of you should remember, are the trees that are, have the white uh, paper bark that just kind of peels right off. And so we start off with the background. That's what this is, is the background for our sky. This piece of paper here is going to be the ground and the trees. So what I need you to do is actually fold it in half like this, the long skinny ways. Okay. Next, uh, you're going to just cut right on that fold. Uh, say both pieces, we're going to use one right now. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put this piece of paper actually underneath slightly. And you're going to line up one side here because we need it to be exactly the width of this. And I know we could have done it the other a different way, but this will actually save this piece for the right size. So that's why we're doing it the way we are. Okay, so then I'm going to use my paper to just draw a line like this. And then I'm going to trim right there. And if you notice, that's exactly the width of the paper. So we're going to be gluing it down here as part of our snow. So it's important that you get that line correct. Okay. Then just save this if you want it for later. Okay. So there's that. Now, the problem is this is like way too straight. So what I'm going to do is redraw the top with a slight wave to it. I don't want it crazy wavy. It's just like a, a little bit of a hill, so it looks like the snow uh, is a little bit more natural. And again, I'm gonna just trim that off. All right. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this to the bottom, covering up the white space and it will probably cover up a bit of your sky as well and that's okay we just want a nice white thing to work with remember glue dot dot not a lot so be careful with how much glue you use and remember don't put the dots of glue right next to the edge because they will ooze out Next, we're going to set this a little bit off to the side, and we're going to we're going to need this piece of paper right here. And you're going to need your you're going to use your fingers as kind of measurements. Um, being third graders, you're going to need your two biggest fingers, which is going to be usually your pointer finger and your middle finger together, and you're going to space it out. And you'll probably roughly get two marks. If you get three, then you're, you might want to make them a little bit wider. We want to space it so we get about three marks. And then we're going to turn it around and try to space it about the same on this. And I'm going to make these marks darker and easier for you to see. Okay. And then next, I'm going to use my pencil, and I'm going to do my best to draw a mostly straight line. It does not have to be perfectly straight, because trees are not perfectly straight. So as straight as you can draw without being real wobbly okay like that do not use a ruler because we don't want them to be that straight 
Then what you're going to do is, actually, it probably, oh, we, I forgot you're going to need one more crayon. You do need a black crayon. That was my fault. I totally spaced out and forgotten it. You'll need a black crayon. And what I'm going to have you do is make some horizontal lines that kind of crisscross and they're just little dashes and little lines. Some of them are a little small. And again, they all have to be side to side. They can't be up and down. It won't look right. This is uh, representing the bark that happens on uh, the trees. The trees um, kind of have these little black areas that pop up. And they're kind of random. So it shouldn't be perfectly spaced or anything like that. Okay. Next, well, what you're going to do is you are going to cut on the lines. Okay, so you got three tree branches, or actually tree trunks. That's what these are, tree trunks. Next thing you're gonna to need to do is uh, you're going to need either, oh, I totally spaced out on, on materials. You actually do need uh, your watercolors for this project, um, or your purple marker, either one. You're gonna need purple watercolor or purple marker. And you're going to need to do very simple, it's nothing major. You're gonna get your purple ready Add some water to it, make it look nice. You want it to be pretty watery. And you're gonna pick a side and you're gonna add a shadow to the tree. And with birch trees and snow, because they're both kind of white objects, the shadows are usually actually a blue or purple, uh, or actually a blue purple color, if you could find a blue purple color. But most sets just have blue or purple. I tend to just use purple. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow to my trees. And it's only on one side because we're, um, we want one side to be light and one side to be a bit darker. Okay, you're gonna need to let these dry for a bit. Right. Okay, and we're back. So you should have your three strips. They should be pretty well dry. We're gonna add them to this. Now, you do not have to use all three. You could just use two. And for my demonstration, I am going to use just two because it fills the space a little bit easier uh, than getting a little crowded with three. But if yours happen to be skinnier than mine, it might work better with three. So it just kind of depends on how thick your trees are. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to need to glue them down. I don't recommend having them perfectly even. Honestly, I, I would look best if one is a little bit up and one is a little bit down. Uh, when you glue, you do need to be careful that the ends will be sticking off the, the paper and we will be trimming that later. Uh, so you gotta just be careful with your gluing. So how I do mine is the dot, dot, on a lot. I'm gonna start here near the top. That way I know where to stop. Okay. Next, uh, two things, or really two more steps. First, uh, you can use your uh, white color pencil or white crayon. And if you have the oil pastel, this is where you would use that. Or if you have white paints, this is where you'd use that. I do not recommend white watercolor because that's not gonna work so well. But if you had like white acrylic or some other uh, tempera paint or something, all we're doing with this is we're gonna add a few branches towards the top. And I like to make them go off the page. 
We don't want to put anything down here because the trees really didn't tend not to have too much in the way of branches. The other thing you can do is you can add some snowflakes. Let's see if my colored pencil works any better here. Mm, it's about the same. Works better in the darker areas, so I can add a few little snowflakes. Okay, and then one last thing I need to do is add a little bit of shadow to the ground. The shadow needs to be on the same side as the shadow that's on the tree itself, and it needs to go uh, off to the diagonal. So it should be the same color. So if you used purple before, then you're using purple again. And you're going to go... Like that. And then uh, last piece is just a little trim at the top. Like I said, if you want your branches to show up better, uh, I recommend oil pastel or paint, but most of us have crayon or colored pencil and that's what I used here. It, it just lightly shows up, but it is a nice little add-on. Uh, we do want the shadow here. Just be careful you don't go over your tree when you do that. And then when you're done, snap a photo of it for me, upload it to Google Classroom, and I will see you next week.